Welcome to this beginning Java tutorial on the this keyword. Now the this keyword has about 10 or 11 different ways to use it. But in this example we're going to use constructors because that's probably the most common way to use this keyword. So in this example we set up our constructor right here and we're going to pass this value right here 79 onto our instance variable. And of course we're going to have the constructor do that. So let's go ahead and run this and we got 79. So what happened here was we invoked the new keyword and it went out there to construct an object of this class and so let's follow the lifetime of this. So the value starts off here 79 and it gets passed into here 79 again right here and then it gets assigned to this instance variable. Now keep in mind that this is a placeholder for the value. You'll notice it's not numeric. That's because it's a placeholder. Its only object is to pass it here. And this is also a placeholder, by the way, right here. This X is also a placeholder. That's why these two have to match because Java recognizes, oh, these are both placeholders. Yeah, I have to assign it to this instance variable. Now, if we put a number in here and make this 12 and run this again, yeah, we got 12 because we assigned the value right here. So this is basically canceled out. So let's put the X back there and of course it will work again. Now developer me comes along later on and decides, you know what, I'm a little confused here. Um, I wanna actually make this one because this is just too confusing to me. And let's hypothetically say I have like 15 different values within these parentheses. And yeah, I'm having a difficult time matching all of these things up. So let's go ahead and change this to one. Change it to one and let's run it again and we get a wait a minute where's my 79 this is null that wasn't supposed to happen and after cussing out java for a while i come back and look at the code and i decide you know what what happened in here what, what is going on in here and let's take a system dot out dot print up here and let's print out this variable and I want to point out that system.outprint is your best friend in the whole Java world. Because if you don't know what the value is of something, you go ahead and print it out and see what the code's doing. So it's a really helpful tool. So let's go ahead and run this. And we got 79 here. And then I'm thinking, wait a minute. It was supposed to pass it to this. How come that didn't happen? So I kind of step through here again. I go 70. I had 79 right here. And we come here and then we go 1 equals 1. 1 equals 1. Now think about that for a minute, guys. 1 equals 1. Remember I told you this was a placeholder for the value, right? Well, I just hit here 1 equals 1. 1 equals itself. And I'm expecting Java to go ahead and pass that along. Well, in this world, when I say something equals something, it doesn't equal something else. That's why we're not getting any IntelliSense here, by the way. So, yeah, Java's going to go ahead and assign the value to here. That's what we told it to do, believe it or not. We said 1 equals 1, so it's only doing what I told it to do. So, if I want to get it back out to this instance variable, we have to use this keyword right here. Now... You'll notice this turned green, by the way. And I like to think of that as, hey, communications are back up between these two. We're all good to go. But what we're doing here is we're basically saying to Java, hey, you know this one equals one I did here? Yeah, that's not really the case. So don't assign the value in here and stop your work. Pass it on to this, pass it on to here, and then assign it to this instance variable. And actually this means instance that's what it means it means the instance it means an instance of something of course this is a instance variable so if we go ahead and get rid of this system.outprint we don't need that anymore and we go ahead and run this we get our 79 like we expected now if you don't want to use this keyword you could actually take a little bit different strategy instead of using an x like we were you could say uh, one underscore one or something and then we go ahead and copy and paste this down here and then go ahead and run this and you can see we got 79 and this is you know this kind of matches this now right we can kind of read this so and so that's kind of a strategy you can take not to have to use the this keyword and not have these two equal each other okay i hope this tutorial helps and i will see you guys in the next tutorial